I mean, I'll, I'll say here now, like I, a lot of people have worked out by now. I have a bunch of children. I have a bunch of daughters and I'm going to make it very clear to them for when they're old enough that, you know, they have to be very exclusive and very careful with who they sleep with and who they end up with. I love the idea of my daughters being with the second or third guy they're ever with in their entire life and marrying that person and having a family. And I think that's the most beautiful thing a woman can do. And I think the psychological damage that comes with lots of relationships, because whether you want it to be damaged or not, it's going to be damaged. There's no light without dark. Every single breakup does a degree of damage. I think women just don't have the stamina to keep falling in love properly again and again and again. I think after a few times, it just kind of dies. And that's it. And there's a special bond between a man and a woman when she hasn't been with a bunch of other men. There's a special sure. bond and it's tangible and you can feel it and you can see it. A lot, of the, a lot of women as well, I think a big problem that a lot of men make, they want to marry women or women want to get married. She wants to get married. She wants to Instagram. She wants to flex. Sometimes the girls who have done the most heinous things with the worst histories are the ones who are the most obsessed with marriage because they want to wipe the slate clean. And they want to pretend that there's something they're not, and they want it all to be forgotten. Oh, marry me, marry me, marry me, marry me. I want the I want the wedding because they're trying to prove something to themselves because they feel inside themselves they've done some bad shit they shouldn't have done. But they can't change, Andrew. They are who they are. At the end of the day, they're just trying to hide it. But they're always that's. Yeah, they go for her age too. She's 31, so she's, she's getting out of that prime of going out Bro. and doing all that shit. You know, <laughs> every guy's gonna find the newest 19, 20 year old and bring them on their yachts, not the 31 year old. I think there's a lot of men out there who understand there's a difference between fun girls and good girls. And I don't think that it's a problem if you don't get the two confused. I think if you get the two confused and you take a fun party girl and get convinced she's a good girl, I think you get wrecked. That's your problem. And I think also if you treat a good girl like a party girl, you can also get wrecked because you'll lose to good girls. So you have to be very perspicacious, understand what you're dealing with. I was having a combo <laughs> with my boy and we were talking about the, the future of the United States. I genuinely believe one day there's gonna be a transgender in an office. You guys think, call, call me crazy now, but the world's getting so fucking crazy. I'm telling you, bro, these the the left is not the left anymore. They're, it's it's just it's gone down a track of ment straight mental disorder, and it's grooming of children. They're gonna assume to like, a. You think a trans as president is like a, a bad way, a bad thing in a what way? Like, it's it's, know, it's, it's, it's promoting. It's, like it's it's in a way. It's it's um, it's kind of making um. How do I say this, bro? Without. It's just, I'm just saying, if that person is older and they were like, okay, I really feel like I'm a girl, like, who cares? If, like, they're happy, you know, but if it's a kid and they're pushing on a kid, so I guess you're saying, like, because it shows a bad person. Just the kids, bro. Leave the kids out of the agendas. I, you just agree with what I'm saying. And tomorrow, tomorrow, every single woman woke up and said, I won't have sex before marriage. Now, I'm not advocating that. That's extreme, but I'm, I'm going to an extreme to prove a point. Imagine every woman did that and every man had to act well enough and good enough to get a woman to marry him to get sexual access. Imagine how society would change. Would men still be jackasses or would men up their game? Would men be more loyal, more diligent, Definitely. more hardworking? Would men be better men? Definitely, but it would make them better men for sure. It's not, misogynistic. Now, like, it's not misogynistic to have an opinion and it's not misogynistic to have a standard. For me yeah. to wake up and say, I want a wife who has been exclusive or has been very hard to access. That doesn't make me a bad person. For the same reason a woman's allowed to say, I want a man who can p p buy me lunch. The happiest women I know, the happiest women I know have been with very few men or one man or two men in their entire life. But I think that a woman is happier when she keeps herself yeah, exactly. that in encourages us to protect and provide. A way to have a pure heart. I don't give a yeah. shit about how much practice you've had on dick. That's all life is. That's the best, the best life can be having some guys around you you've known for a long time who you trust, train hard, laugh, joke. That's more fun than parties and bullshit anyway. I'm still on house arrest, even though I'm free. I don't even leave my house. I just want to train and chill and work and look after the people I love. And that's, that's what life's all about. So I look forward to uh, that scenario, Aiden. I look forward to you showing us your bench press record and showing us how strong you really are, putting us all in our place. Can't I got wait. you. I got you, bro. I believe that God. We, we need, we need the, the thing is this, we need some objective reality on the planet. There has to be something that is solid lines. You can, if everything becomes subjective and if nothing is a firm line, then it's very difficult to base a society or a rule set on how people should act or interact. So we've now destroyed basically every hard line that used to exist under the name of freedom and liberalism, and that's all fine. But that's one of the most basic lines, like man and woman. 
Like if you make everything subjective, then how is anything supposed to work? There has to be one plus one equals two, and that's how it works to a degree. So everything is under attack. And I don't think that everything being under attack is for our own good. I, I know what you're saying, Dillian, about people's happiness. I completely get that. But also, yeah. if you're gonna destroy all objective reality. There's not enough people being born. Why are they not born? Because men aren't men, women aren't women, people don't get married, no one has kids. Women don't act like wives, men don't act like husbands. So it's like society at every level is broken. You only fix it when you come along with some law, some rules and say, no, this is supposed to go this way. Up until very recently, it was pretty widely accepted that a man was supposed to be with a woman and we were supposed to have children. And now that's considered extremist. If I say I want a beautiful woman to have children with, I'm considered an extremist. I'm considered a bad person, which is insane because that's how we all got here. That's how you're here. That's how I'm here. Like, it's, yeah. it's crazy now. I um, so, yeah. no, go ahead, Andrew. You, you need to have some degree of objective reality, and it's more dangerous when you're saying it to children which don't understand what objective reality is yet. Yeah. Their minds are sponges. You make them very confused. They believe in the tooth fairy and Santa Claus. Personal excellence is the only answer. If you become sure. an excellent man, because I, I do think in a healthy relationship, I think that to a degree, the woman mirrors her man. And if you're a good moral man of good moral standing and you have a good frame and she respects you, then she's gonna usually bend to your values. And that's not force. There's always different pressure sources, right? If, yeah. if, if you're not a particularly moral man or you're not a particularly brilliant man or she doesn't look up to you and respect you and her friends are trying to convince her to do bad things, she's gonna go and do bad things. But if she looks at you and goes, no, I trust this man with my life. I trust this man to guide me and teach me. Then I'm gonna. He doesn't. He doesn't act that way. I'm not gonna act that way. And in my experience, I've been fine. Like I've, I've never. I've, I've, I've been very fortunate in in relationships. I have fantastic relationships now. I've always had good relationships, and good women do exist.